You want video in 3D, 360 uh, video? Check this out. We're going to talk about it next. It's Geekazine's coverage of NAB 2014, and it's brought to you by our friends over at Otherworld Computing, celebrating 25 years. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers with Geekazine.com. We're here with Mike Kittner, and last year I was here at NAB, and I was I was doing work for another company, and you passed by with this thing on a stick with all these GoPros, and I was like, oh, that's so cool, but I completely missed it. Uh, and then I saw what it was a little bit a couple days later, um, and now you've got a newer version of it here. So let's let's first talk about that that first one that you you came out with last year. Yeah, that's actually the H3 Pro 6, and that allows you to use uh, six GoPro cameras. Okay. And since we've talked before, we now have 13 different types of holders. 13 different types of holders. Yes, and it's all designed around different types of production. Okay. Whether you're doing uh, HD or you want to be able to carry it below drones or UAVs. Okay. Or in this particular case, our latest models, to go right along with what you're doing with the Oculus Rift, and we'll actually give you a little demo of the Oculus Rift. Okay. But you can see here that we have 14 GoPro cameras, and we are using the left and right eye, so we alternate all the way around keeps looking at me. Yes, exactly. You cannot get away. <laughs> but it's just, it's absolutely stunning the footage that you get from this. And to be able to do 3D at 6K is incredible. That is, that is incredible. That must take a long time to do post-production on that. Actually, uh, it's not. Um, we use a, we've developed a new software package called 360 Cam Man, okay. and it's designed around managing cameras. So as you can imagine, you've got 14 cameras, and we did 10 takes. Mm -hmm. Now I got 140 files, okay. and each of them are probably maybe a gig each. Yeah. It's a lot of data. Yeah, the, yeah. yeah And then we got to break them all apart, same by you know frame by frame, put them all together. The the software helps manage that, and then we are also using a software package called Video Stitch. Okay. And Video Stitch helps us put all this. That's, that's this guy uh, photo bombing yeah, us in the background. Yes. So. <laughs> that's Nicholas in the background, and he they've got an excellent product, and it marries very well with what we're trying to do okay. at 360 Heroes, and uh, it's it's exciting. Now, no, and my understanding is Video Stitch is not out yet for software. Right? No, no, it is the uh, the Video Stitch for. Uh, standard 360 video stitching is out, oh, okay. but we're just now releasing uh, 3D, uh, 360 video live streaming, oh. and that's what you actually have. Well, that's, that's what we're seeing here. Okay. Yes, okay. live 360 video. There's, there's my because there, there's one right up here <laughs> yep. as we're seeing that, and I'm actually seeing this. It looks pretty good. I, I got into the the area where you know you yeah, get a little bit blurred. Yep, yeah. but that just just takes some. Uh, tweaking and, and refining and once we get that all figured out um, you know we just released it here at NEB so it's just only a matter of a couple of weeks and we'll be running full tilt. All right. Cool. Well, first of all, this is how much how much does this rig cost? Well, just the case. We'll start with the case and then uh, how much with the GoPros? Okay. Well, we like to use um, GoPro Hero 3 Black Pluses okay. because they work great in low light conditions mm -hmm. um, and now they have exposure lock. Uh, they've adjusted with the firmware so we can lock the exposure with everything, which is which is beautiful okay. with that. Um, the holders, uh, the six unit, the one that you seen last year, mm -hmm. that's right around four hundred dollars, okay. and then this unit here is right around thousand okay. dollars, and then each one of the GoPros, the the new Hero Three Black Pluses, they're I think they're three ninety nine uh, is what they sell them for with the remotes, okay. so you can sync everything all together and and uh, be able to shoot some amazing content. And I saw the drone over there with all the uh, with all the 360 uh, heroes on them. That is just that was another thing that we released here at NAB, and it's absolutely incredible because the what we've done is the the drone is the camera system, so it's truly a flying Superman. So now, yeah, you know, now if you uh, want to do a scene where you're flying through a city and being able to animate all that, that's all done by CGI. Yeah. Well, now you can take this drone like we did yesterday. Um, we went up to Red Rock, filmed some great content up to Red Rock, brought it back down here, stitched it all together, and we were watching what we filmed up at Red Rock. Did you have somebody laying a table on a green screen and, and look like they're doing the Superman thing? Exactly, but that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, we, I we think you should. Be able to do that. <laughs> where's, where's, I'll do that for you. I want to fly through Red Rock. <laughs> now, of course, yeah, when, when you're talking about drones and going through cities, that, that gets a little bit more complicated. But something like Red Rock, an open field or something like that, that's easier to, to do. That is really easy. But imagine this. You can, 
uh, let's say you got all these caves and open holes inside, you can literally fly right down through and, and, and get immersed into that type of area. And you can even do city scenes. We just want to make sure that we don't have any people below us because oh, yeah. we're very safe, very safe you know, in, in, in that particular area. But to be able to create content like that and to be able to show it within hours is extremely powerful. Of course, all this great action is brought to you by our friends over at OWC, Other World Computing. Because, you know, you can't always get a brand new Mac. You can't always get a brand new production system. So you have to upgrade what you've got. And the best part is they have the memory. They have the SSDs to actually make your computer run faster, run better in the environment that you're in. You got a brand new Mac Pro? Instead of paying for the high price for Mac memory, you can get OWC memory at a fraction of a price and get a lot more memory out of that deal. Uh, they have a lot more over at the website. You can check it out. Of course, if you're looking to buy a, a refurbished Mac or something like that, they've got stuff like that too. Stuff for your iPhone. And stuff for your PC. Did you know you could put an SSD into an old PC uh, using an adapter? I didn't know that. Now I do. Check it out. Go over to geekazine.com forward slash OWC. Geekazine.com forward slash OWC and find out what they got. And then tell me your story. You want to save your Mac? Use the hashtag SaveMyMac and uh, tell me why you need memory, and, uh, and we'll, we'll talk about it on air over at geekazine.com. That's over at geekazine.com forward slash OWC. Now, the one thing I always think about is the emergency response issue, or the emergency response aspect to something like this. You know, if we have something like a, 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 a Twin Towers disaster, 9-11 type situation, uh, a device like this is perfect for emergency responders to get over as as opposed and maybe even inside of things to see what's going on. Yeah, oh exactly. There's the potential it's it's wide open for all this stuff. Even to have something like this when a, like a monopod hanging off of an emergency responder mm -hmm. and they can film all of that and go back and watch that mm -hmm. uh, in, uh, you know within hours or Eventually, we'll get to the point we'll have live 360 video streaming and be able to have something like that so that we're not just looking at what the cameraman wants you to see. Yeah. You're seeing everything, yeah. including the guy that's carrying it. As a matter of fact, the military has actually talked to this, and they use it as a training tool right now. Okay. So uh, we have a mount that actually sits right on the top of a helmet. Okay. And they'll actually go do a, a particular scene or, you know, do their practicing and yeah. so forth. And then when they go back to the office, they look and say, just to let you know, you've been dead. And why is that? Because if you spin around, there's a sniper right there that you missed. Nice. You know, so that it really it allows people to experience everything that's all around you. And that's that's really it's it's mind blowing in a way. Yes, yeah, it definitely. is. Especially something like this, because you think to yourself, oh my God, because you know, I do multi camera shoots. Oh my god, you gotta sit there and wait for camera one to to download, camera two to download and stuff like that. You're making it easier and with real time with, with software like this. Uh, it's just, it's amazing, and I can't wait to see how this gets implemented inside movies, this gets implemented inside emergency response, and everything else. So, where do people go for more information? Well, you can go to 360heroes.com, and we have all the, matter of fact, we just turned down a brand new website, a brand new store, uh, upgraded to a lot of the latest and greatest of uh, what's actually happening out there. So you can see sample content. And what's also really exciting is um, if you go to uh, iTunes mm -hmm. or go to Google Play Store, you can download the app. It's free. It's okay. called 360 Heroes. And you can stream all this content and upload all of your content. And it's, it's shared throughout the whole world, which is exciting. That is, that is cool. And the Stitch software is not out yet, but where, where do people go for more information when it comes out? Uh, you have to go to our website, www.video-stitch.com. Video.stitch.com. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you very much, Mike. Yep. You got it. Thank you again. I really appreciate it. This, this, this is. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I think what we should do now is I'd like to get your reaction. Let's head over to the the Oculus Rift and show you 2D and 3D in Oculus Rift. Let's see what you think. Can I put this on my head? Oh, yeah, you can carry this around. Anyway. No, no, put on my head. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. I'm going to take a look at the Oculus Rift. We're going to do that in another video. Uh, you can check everything out over at Geekazine. Our YouTube channel is Geekazine, our YouTube.com forward slash Geekazine. we got more NAB video coming your way. So just remember that hashtag, geek out. All right.